Hi, this is Tim of the 1916 Company. Welcome and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email us. Team also at the 1916company.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any of our platforms. Please reach out to us directly. Team also at the 1916company.com. Rescence is a Swiss-Belgian hybrid Founded by Benoit Mintiens, a industrial designer from Belgium, the company features unconventional time displays and ergonomics, a friendly and approachable watch that explains the hand as the company's logo. This is a special launch from 2017, the Type 1 Squared that was Resence's first ever stainless steel timepiece. It's an easy watch to wear, 41 millimeters in diameter in steel, 11.8 millimeters thick, and from lug tip to lug tip, measures 47 millimeters with a 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs. Now the watches are made in Switzerland, they're designed in Belgium, and you can see that ergonomically it is a very friendly watch for a small wrist like mine, 16 centimeters in circumference. It wears well, it'll slide underneath a tight sleeve, the lugs are nowhere near the edge of my wrist and you can see that on both sides. I'd recommend it for a wrist as small as 14 centimeters circumference. The strap Calf skin with a monotone stitch. You can see it has a sheer cut side that's been lacquered on the bottom. Calf skin and little elongated perforations for the elongated pin buckle. Again, that friendly little hand. And we have a rescence buckle that includes that hand once more. And so you can see the attention to detail here. There is a little recess for the pin in the buckle. The case is simple. It's a lot like a wire lug Rodimir in terms of how it looks and how it wears. We just say, although a 41, it wears a little bit smaller than that on the wrist. Now you'll also note that the case is a monoblock with the bezel and the case all being one piece. Everything loads through the reverse of the watch. Taking a quick look, we can see there's a dramatically boxed and cambered sapphire and underneath that, a beautifully brushed regulator style dial. And it is a regulator. We have our seconds, our minutes, and our hours on different displays. We have a day of the week week indicator that moves clockwise. And then you can see these little arcs that are hollow. Those represent the weekend days. We will pop open the little lever on the back. This, this was first introduced on the Type 1 squared, a brilliant setup for a watch that has no crown and has always been windable and settable through its case back. Now you can see here that I have a surprising amount of information. I can see that it's eight on the nose because I see the hour is eight, the minute is 60. And then I know that this is 8 a.m. And how do I know that? Well, this little day indicator moves in a clockwise direction. And I can see that first solid arc after the weekend, that's clearly Monday. And so it's in the first half of Monday. So I'm looking at 8 a.m. on a Monday. That's how that works. The watch does actually feature luminescence, though the black version of Super Luminova is not the brightest. Still, you can see that it is fully loomed. On the reverse side, you can see the Type 1 squared. You turn the case back to set and wind the watch. Now, it is an ETA 28242 base. This generation of the Type 1 squared is the 2824. Bidirectional automatic winding with a 4 hertz beat rate. In this application, it has a 36-hour power reserve. It can wind itself automatically, but there's also a friction zone on the back where you turn it through a 360-degree arc, and you will find that there is a narrow band of friction, and you just move back and forth through that friction zone if you want to wind the watch. Now, you also set the watch using the case back, and you can see this planetary system where everything rotates on its own axis, but also relative to the center of the dial. This is the Rescence Orbital Convex System. So 107 pieces by itself. It's attached via a magnetic coupling to the base movement. So the idea being here that you've really got quite a bit of original manufacturer watchmaking on top of the tractor caliber that sits underneath. Now the watch is dust and moisture resistant only because these are one ATM or 10 meter watches, unless you've got a Resonance Type 5, 
The recommendation is don't take them swimming. It is a beautiful, innovative, and thoughtfully designed watch. One of the few watches truthfully doing something that has not previously been done in the 18th, 19th, or 20th century eras of horology. Rescence, always on the forefront of design and ergonomics. This watch embodying both. Reach out to Team Also at the1916company.com for purchase and pricing details.